sailing all the way to Spain. Thoughts are swimming through my mind In this pool inside my head And just before I go to sleep Hola muchachos, my name is Elena and I'm an expat living and working in Barcelona, Spain. Those of you who come to visit the city can spend entire weeks and months exploring and choosing the best sites. That's why I designed especially for you a day tour covering the very authentic and colorful neighborhoods of Sant Antoni and Poblesec. If you haven't seen my previous video, I highly recommend you do so. There's a lot of interesting content, but in this tour, in this day itinerary, I've included a lot of interesting sites, also stops for coffee, for breakfast. It will be super interesting and very insightful. Let's go. For the taste of authentic Catalonia or Barcelona, I had to Can Villaro. Can in Catalonian means house, so the Villaro house. And it serves one of the most traditional and colorful cuisine that I've seen in Barcelona. We have two typical dishes. The first one is capipota. This is veal's head and feet. Sounds very strange and disgusting, but it's actually a very good dish. And the second one is a black body fire sausage with semi fina. This is um, a medley of vegetables sautéed in oil. I'll start with the capipota. This was um, a recommended dish. I have a piece of head or food, and this is garbanzo beans. I like that it's on the fatty side. It's very satisfying, very gelatinous, and very filling. The sausage is black because it's made of blood. Let me take some peppers. It's very delicate. And inside of the sausage, there is some sort of minced meat made of entrails. Very warm and very comforting. At the beginning, we were a bit intimidated by how the dishes looked and what they were, you know, blood sausage, entrails and so on. But in the end, we ate everything of our plates. I would totally recommend for you to come here and taste it for yourselves. This is a really cool cafe that I like. I'll show you in a second. Uh, we'll take the coffee and we'll be strolling around the public sex neighborhood, enjoying our coffee and enjoying the great views. And I'm sailing in the sea of my ideas and my thoughts, I'm sailing all the way to Spain. The coffee is absolutely worth it. Uh, I took this cappuccino and it's just sublime. It's really smooth, uh, the coffee is good, the milk is good, and the barista was super quick at making it. It was maybe at most like two minutes and the coffees were, were done. And I'm enjoying a chocolate chip cookie with Nutella. Um, it's very filling. I thought that I'll be hungry after this, but that amount of chocolate and sugar is gonna do it for me for breakfast. I am in the heart of the neighborhood of Pueblo Sec. This is the Carrer del Blay Street. This is an ideal street for hanging out, going to bars, going to tapas, shopping, you name it. It's really beautiful, very picturesque. And it's right in the middle of the Pueblo Sec neighborhood, which I want to tell you a bit more about. So it's a 19th century neighborhood, very quiet, very residential, but at the same time has a lot of color, has a lot of, you know, texture, and it will be a nice place to live if you like quiet, but you also like happening places at night. del Blay ended and we started going closer to the Jardin de las Tres Jimenez. Damn this name! 
Well, the neighborhood started changing, you know, started being a little bit more rough, a little bit more abandoned, and now we are finally in the park. This is a very alternative hipster place with a lot of skateboarders, a famous skateboard park. And every Saturday they organize an uh, eco-friendly market where they sell food. Maybe we'll get something with us to take to our next spot, but let's uh, explore it for a while now. The lady bikes for coffee. Not too bad. To grind the coffee and then to make espressos, she uses the power that she generates by biking. This is the farmer's market, happens every Saturday, but unfortunately they only accept cash. In our case, it was a bummer because we didn't have any with us, so we can't really buy anything. By the way, the name Tres Chimenez means three chimneys that you can see in my background, probably remains on some old factory, but right now they are not functioning. Uh, besides the fact that you can buy different things here, you can just chill out with your friends and listen to the music. They have live music with a DJ and that's very relaxing. But we have to be on our way uh, to the museum. This is the Greek theater. It has the most beautiful construction and when you see it in reality, it feels surreal, but it's super cool. I knew that people hang out here, but apparently there are yoga lessons and some other activities. So it's a cool place to relax and maybe you get the chance to do some sports here. While the Italians are those who have been praised for dolce far niente or the art of doing nothing, I think the Spanish are pretty good at it too. Basking in the sun, just sitting, talking, <laughs> enjoying, sleeping. To see all the permanent museum exhibitions, you have to pay 12 euro per person, plus two euros because now they have the Gaudi exhibition. We are uh, very interested in seeing that, obviously, but it's really small, so we'll see if it's worth it or not. Um, the museum has two floors. The uh, ground floor are more Romanesque art, Gothic art, like older, older type of art. I would say that the bottom floor is not as exciting. The uh, majority of the signs are just in Catalan and in Spanish. Plus they don't have audio guides it's okay but it's hard to understand what you're looking at exactly so i hope the second floor or the first floor will be more interesting with the modernist art The ticket includes two visits to the museum. So the first one is today, and the second one, if you didn't uh, manage to see everything that you wanted, you can come during the same month one more time. 
After visiting the art museum, you have a couple of options. The first one is the magic fountain, which is in my background. You see there are two towers. Those are the Venetian towers. And here just in front of me is the fountain. Unfortunately, because of COVID restriction, it's not working. Usually on the weekend, they have a schedule where the fountain lights up, plays music, you know, a water show. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't think they'll, they will open it anytime soon. So no luck for us. Fortunately, there are two very nice parks behind the art museum. The first one is the Joan Margal Gardens. This is a free park, but it opens only on the weekend and only until 3 p.m. So you have to kind of manage things so you can make it on time. The other one, which is um, again free and open all the time, is the Historic Botanical Garden. It's not one of the most beautiful parks that I saw, but if you feel like strolling around a bit, after seeing so much art, this is another good destination. It's so chilly here when you go down, feels like you're in a fridge, which might be a very good thing to know for the summer. If you're visiting, feeling too hot, go down in the historic botanic gardens and you'll actually cool off a bit. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment your most favorite spot. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.